Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're going to meet Dave and Ashley, and you are living in, I guess it should be fairly obvious, yep. a school bus. <laughs> yep. Yes. And uh, that's always an interesting story. I mean, I, in the middle of the desert, in Quartzsite, in a school bus. So, how did that happen? Yeah, fun journey. We just started in November, um, but... Uh, our, our life path really kind of led us to this moment, we feel like we're in finally in control of our destiny. We had a very large chiropractic office, and it was stressed out to the max, health issues to the max. This last year, I started getting a whole bunch of stress fractures, and literally could not perform my job anymore. And so we figured it was in our best interest to declare bankruptcy. So we actually wiped out everything. We decided to get rid of our house. We actually spent a whole year selling off all of our material possessions, except for the things that we thought that we were going to be bringing on the bus with us, like camping gear, stoves, random shelves, uh, different things that way. Uh, and we kept downsizing, 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 and then after the bankruptcy was left, uh, with the little bit of proceeds that we had from garage sailing, we had about $4,000 left, we bought a $3,000 school bus. So this bus was three thousand. Yep. 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 So it was yep. twenty nine hundred, and then with tax, it came to like thirty one hundred. Yeah. And we got a free back door and a free tire with it. <laughs> so the negotiation skills mm -hmm. came out. Um, but yeah, so it was very minimal cost. We were actually really surprised. We did a whole bunch of auction sites looking at that kind of stuff. We did the whole you know typical internet thing and. We even reached out and contacted some people from around the nation, but nothing just felt like it was right to buy a bus that way. Yeah, we ended up is. yeah we ended up coming across uh, Lamer's company, which is really big in Wisconsin, and they actually contract out through the school districts, and each year they retire like fifteen to twenty buses in this one district. So we actually got to go to the bus yeah. graveyard. Yeah, and literally like 15 buses available. Yeah, everything everything yeah. out there that you can name from a school bus perspective. We got to walk into all of them, notice the height differences, notices, you know, all of the little dynamics that you would have never thought of just doing research online. Just looking at a picture. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and really the couple that we thought we would like, we did not like. We would have not picked this one if we would have just looked at the picture. Mm. Yeah. And it was crazy too like the immediate difference of just an inch difference right. in you're, some of the buses. You're pretty tall. Yeah. yeah. And and so, like, obviously you go to school, right? You go hop into these school buses when you're a kid, you don't pay attention. Right. And, like, walking into a bus from the perspective of, like, I might buy this, you get this weird feeling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was it was a fun, fun trip, yeah. and we literally ended up driving the bus home that yeah. day. We made a decision right away and, yep. and got it. Yeah. Probably doesn't have very many miles on it. No, it had 176. Yep. yep. Uh, for a diesel engine, it's a Cummings engine. I mean, we're talking pocket change for what the engine's yep. meant for. So. Absolutely. Those yep. are 500,000 mile engines. Yeah, and we yep. were able to get the full, we just, because we asked, we got the full record. The maintenance mm -hmm. record. Right. So, yep. you know, we were able to review that before we purchased, and yeah, it was good. So, um, you had all this life change, and yeah. um, life was not what you thought it was going to be, yeah. and you said, we're going to make it. Yeah. So how are you supporting yourselves now? Yeah, so we're, we're moving. Essentially, I'm still going to be helping people. My, my main passion is, has always been, since I was a little kid, just helping people in one way or another. So basically, we're just shifting all of that knowledge that I gained uh, through school, through uh, all of the different experiences that I had, uh, through my clinic. I just really realized that there's so much misinformation out there, and I felt like I couldn't get that across to my patients in my, my office, and I saw this whole online thing, right? Like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and people making huge impacts that way. And so I viewed this as a great opportunity just to switch basically paths and do the same thing. So now I get to talk about nutrition, now I get to talk about stress relief, now I get to talk about how to get back energy and things of that and nature. And have time to do it. And have time to yeah. do it and actually create a meaningful connection with people through online, which is weird as that, this was like a foreign concept to us like three years ago. Um, 
that's what this has afforded us to do. So basically switching everything, all of my knowledge into books and online programs and reaching people through the internet uh, to help the same amount of people, essentially. Yep. Right. Yeah. And so, do you have a website, a YouTube channel? Yeah, you can reach us at Jumping Off the Fence. Yep. And uh, basically, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, you yep. can go over there. And it's all about reducing stress and regaining your health. So, the underlying root concept being that all the things that I did in my practice, if people were stressed out, no matter what they did, that diet wouldn't work, that exercise program wouldn't work. It all came down to stress. So we're just leading by example. We're yeah. trying to reduce more and more stress as we go through. As you walked up, we were sitting outside enjoying the sun. Yeah. <laughs> Again, we're still in our journey yep. of healing. And um, we just closed our office in August. So this is you know still a newer change for us too. So it's kind of just following us through the things that we're experiencing and showing that it's okay for people to do the same thing too. Yeah, right. so our YouTube channel is going to have all those types yeah. of helpful hints. Uh, you know, how to manage kids. We have two young kids. How to go through the stressors of life and, and get that to reduce so that if that diet that you so choose to get after, uh, it's going to be effective for you. I've always thought that stress was the most, uh, was one of the biggest killers in the country today. And I call all the scientific yeah. evidence is coming in for that. And so a lot of your goal in moving into the bus was health, mm -hmm. yes. better health. Yep. yep. And you're on your journey to that better health. Yep. And are you seeing a difference? Yeah. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> within the first uh, month of me closing down the office, I lost 30 pounds. Yeah. So. And I lost 20 and we basically were focused and able to make like really good yeah. decisions. That, that was the biggest change right away is just to think clearly and like think outside of the situation yeah. that we were in. Um, we had both had severe depression issues. We had... Like, I, and this is what started this whole journey like five years ago. Uh, there was a point in, in the time where I felt like driving off the road and just like saying, I just don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. And that was kind of like the turning point where we started researching tiny homes and minimalist living and what voluntary simplicity was. And we started going to discussion groups and things like that. And it took us a long time to get through this mm -hmm. journey. And I would say for the last two years, her and I, just month after month have been attacking living a more simplistic life. So it's been a build up. And then when the bankruptcy went through, it was kind of like suddenly we could breathe mm -hmm. because the financial stress was starting to go away. And we still have financial stress. We still have 340,000 uh, of school debt yeah. that we have to pay off uh, because that doesn't go away in no. bankruptcy, unfortunately. Um, but it's nothing compared to what it was. I mean, getting rid of that, that deeper financial layer has allowed us to really sit back and feel like we're actually in control of our life. Uh, and that's been the biggest change is like being able to say, okay, is this working? Is it not working? We were on a farm in Texas and we were going to be there for a month helping out because you can, you can live for free and you do a work relationship with them. The farm was great, it just wasn't the right time for us. And it allowed us to say, no, this isn't it. And we, we packed up and moved on, not even really fully knowing what we were doing, but yeah. we had the clarity to be able to say that. So that's been the biggest change. So in your previous life, uh, from the outside world, looking in, you yeah. were living the dream. Yeah, we were, we were the dream of the crop. The yeah. ultimate success. Yeah. Yeah. You were, uh, 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 tell us what you were doing. Yeah, so in, in chiropractic, this, this is one of the things I love talking about is with all big successes come big failures, and you have to have this balance between the two, and almost no one ever talks about the failures, and no one ever sees the failures. Yeah. So I was the medical director for 12 different sports teams. I had a 6,500-square-foot facility where we had yoga, personal training, meditation, you know, uh, uh, indoor cycling, we had triathlon coaching going on there. Like it was just this massive one-stop shop for healthcare kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, I was the uh, coordinated director for a hospital system. Uh, I went to national championships. I personally coached Olympic athletes. All of this great stuff that 
you would think would be the most amazing thing in the world. Yeah. And to, what we originally were striving for. Yeah, yeah. originally striving for. That's what society told you. Yeah. yeah. This is a success. Yep, yeah. yeah, exactly. And in the big office, right? Like, that's what we were told is that you're really making it if you've got the size of office and you're treating this number. I was seeing 50 patients a day, uh, and I was working six days a week doing that. And... Wow, did it just quickly come crashing down yeah. because the and then health... when you left, you were depressed, you were unhealthy. Well, you actually, were unhappy. I, was, I was already starting to be depressed during that time because I felt like I couldn't have any control over any of it because I was so successful so quickly. I, I, I tried bringing on chiropractors to help me, but I didn't have time to manage them properly. Right. You know, I was so busy treating my own patients, and, and it was just a big ball of stress. On the front, both her and I were really good at masking that we were happy and yeah. everyone loved coming to the office. It was super energetic. And we even told ourselves we were happy, but we yeah. knew we weren't. <laughs> we would go home and we would sit on the couch and yeah. binge, binge watch Netflix. Do everything Netflix. we were telling people you shouldn't do. You yeah. Know? yeah. It was it was popcorn, popcorn and ice cream every night yeah. for a long time. And uh, I think that's like the typical American thing. I think it is. You, it's how you get through the day. Yeah. Yeah. You look forward to that bowl of ice cream at 8, 9 yeah. o'clock and sit down and watch TV and do nothing. And unfortunately, you're so stressed out, you can't get good sleep. So, like, we wouldn't go to bed until midnight, 1 o'clock, and then be up at 5.30 because we had to be to work by 7.30. And now we're at the point where we watch the sunset and the sunrise every day with we the girls. We don't even own and... a TV. We, yeah. Yep. Yep. And so you're living that life yourselves, and you want to help other people yeah. to see that. Yeah, yep. to know that it's not an overnight change, but it's just the small steps that make a really yeah. big impact. And even if it's the smallest thing you don't think would make a difference, just by, you know, making that one little change, it just, yeah, it really compiles on top of each other. The chart. habits build on each other. And, and, you know, for us, it had to start from our chemistry. We had to start drinking more water. We had to start, you know, getting into those types of routines to change yeah. the brain chemistry to allow us to start thinking more positively. We yeah. cut out news. We just did a bunch of different steps that way. This lifestyle will allow us to lead by example for people. We hope to show them that it is easy. It's not complicated. You can take control of your health. You can take control of your stress because it is ultimately your choice. It's your choice to be living in a 4,000 square foot home. Uh, it's your choice to be living in the current situation that you're in. And you can take steps if you're not happy with it, or you can take steps to make it the most amazing experience that you have in the world. Right. Uh, and that's the simplicity part of it. Yeah. You know, if you're a business owner, you don't have to overcomplicate things. You can still grow a big business, and you can learn how to delegate better, or you can, you know, there's all of those sorts of little steps that people have uh, that are simple that tend to not get sold uh, in yeah. the mass market. Right. So you were probably handling a lot of money, and everyone that yes. looked at you thought, oh, wow, yeah. they've really arrived. And when it was all said and done, you had nothing left. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. You know, after all those years of we money going in and out, in yeah. and out, it all went out. Yeah, yep. we, we, were at a, we were at a pretty good negative, and yeah, people would get paid, we wouldn't. So, right, yeah. Yep. Yeah, as, as the owner, you, you pay your employees first, and yeah. at the end of the year, every year, it was paying into taxes. With money we didn't have. <laughs> so now you're starting over with the bus. Yeah. And you got the bus for 3000 Yep. And you started the conversion because mm -hmm. you didn't have much money left. Yep. And how much have you got into it now? Yeah. We are at a total, I think, because you asked me this, uh, uh, or I've seen your videos, uh, I think we are at like 4200 to 4400 right in that right time frame. There. Thanks so much for telling us your story. Uh, and would it be all right if we took a little tour and saw the place? Yeah. We would love it. Okay, yes, we'll give Let's you the nickel that. tour. Okay. <laughs>